Hey, Bleed Big Blue. Tim from the podcast. Just wanted to come talk to you guys. It's that time of the week where, you know, we start looking forward to uh, the next game. And uh, the next game is Atlanta Falcons on Monday night, prime time. You know, uh, we're not a good team, and they're not a good team right now. Uh, they only There's only a three wins total between us, but hey, they still got to play the game. It's still on the schedule. It's Monday night. It's our Giants. So you know we're going to be watching. So it's time for the five-point preview. Now, number one on the five-point preview. You know what? This is just maybe a gut feeling, if you will. But with all this has been going around, Odell, and all the, you know, the talk and the, you know, the, the controversy over really saying not a whole lot. I'm expecting Odell to go off this week. I think Odell has been, he's been good. He's been, you know, he's, he has still shown what he's got, but he hasn't had that breakout game yet. Now, I just have a feeling that this is going to be it. Especially against a Atlanta team that's not, does not have the greatest defense. And, you know, with that being said, if Odell has a good game, that means you know who has a good game. That means Eli had a good game. And, you know, being on prime time, maybe Eli gets some pride about him and steps it up. I think, uh, I have a feeling this week they're both going to have big games. Like I said, it's a gut feeling. Obviously, there's no, uh, <laughs> there's nothing I've seen in the past couple games that's really going to prove that. You know, especially between Captain Checkdown, Eli Manning, and uh, Udell, who doesn't get the ball barely ever. But uh, I think that's what's going to happen this week, and I think that's really going to be a key to the game, a key to them winning. Let's see, Odell, like John Myers said, let's uh, make headlines on the field, and let's stop making them off. Number two on my preview. Now, this is going to be the intriguing one for me. You know, we have Julio Jones on the other side of the ball. Now, he's, he's one of the top receivers in the game. We know that. But this is the game that Janoris Jenkins gets pumped up for. I think this is the, the games that uh, Janoris really takes pride in because he wants to show you know, what kind of upper-class cornerback he is. And this is what I'm expecting this week. But, you know, that's the question. Can can Jenkins shut down Julio? You know, especially with... Muhammad Sanu looks like he might be out this week. And Calvin Ridley was limited in practice, but he might play. So, if Ridley and uh, Julio play... That's a challenge. Who's going to shut down who? Is Jenkins going to shut down Julio? Is Eli Apple going to shut down Calvin Ridley? Can either one do it or are they both going to get toasted? We don't know. And, you know, it's going to be a big test for our secondary. You know, let's see what's going to happen. And, you know, especially the way Atlanta's played this year. If they're not passing all over us, then... uh. There's a good chance that we're going to win. So, number three in my five-point preview. All I got to say is, he's back. Evan Ingram comes back this week. A big matchup nightmare that we have had, that Eli hasn't had. Eli was passing... Or not passing well to uh, a guy that wasn't even on a team two weeks ago. But now Evan Ingram's back. We got our tight end back. Not only did we get our tight end back, but we got our number two tight end back. Rallison is going to be back this week as well. So it's going to be a huge boost to the offense. It should be a huge boost to the offense. So you know what? I'm very curious what... Evan Ingram's going to come back and what he's going to contribute. Because they really haven't used him. 
they weren't using him much when uh, he was healthy. But now that he is healthy, you know what? Let's let's take advantage of the nightmare he is of of a matchup. That would, let's take care advantage of that speed and that athleticism at the tight end position. Let's do it. Number four. You know, it's a big question, especially because I'm a really big fan of defense. Is can we get to Matt Ryan? Can we put not only a pass rush on Matt Ryan, but can we get to him if we're putting him on the ground? And that's, you know, the biggest thing for this Giants defense, and that's one thing we've definitely been lacking this year overall. It's just we are getting to the quarterback. Now, Vernon did definitely show, you know, he's a talent when he's on the field. So, hey, Vernon, you got a lot to prove to me, or I don't expect you to be on the team next year, especially with the cap pit you're going to have next year. So, Vernon, uh, s step it up, please. Let's see what you got. Not only Vernon, but you know what? I want to see the other guys. The guys have been stepping it up on defense. Like Kerry Wynn, Cream Martin, uh, B.J. Hill, who's the sick thing is he's leading us in sacks for the year with two. And he's our, our rookie uh, defensive end. And Lorenzo Carter, you got one sack on the year, but I'm expecting uh, more. I know you got the talent as well. So let's see what's going on. But I, want, I expect everybody, get to the quarterback. Betcher, that's what you're known for, is for the blitzing and combination blocks. And I know you don't have your full complement of what you want this defense to look like. But it should be starting to round up to where these guys are starting to get used to your defense. And let's see what, you know, let's see what uh, what kind of creativity you have. And what uh, defense is going to show up today. Or Monday. And really... The question is, number five, guys, is, I think a good question for all of us, really, is this team going to give up? Are, you know, are they, are they ready to shut it down? You know, because, you know, they are to like the fans. We're all ready to, you know, pack it in and, you know, go in for Justin Herbert. And, you know, Justin Herbert or bust. But... Let's see who's got some pride. Because this is the NFL, you know, they don't last long if you put a lot of bad tape out there. So, who's going to start stepping it up now that uh, we're right there? And I hate to say this, guys, especially for the ones that are really negative. And I'm not going to lie, I got put over edge a little bit last week. But we're still in this. We're only two games out of first place. Well, if you want to be realistically two and a half games out of first place. And the way everybody's playing, there's no way we can't catch up if we start streaking. I know, I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but we can't make these playoffs. And if we're not, hey, you know what? Maybe it's going to be, we start packing it, maybe it is the countdown to Loletta. Then let's see what Loletta does. You know, to finish out the season. But I don't even think that's going to be a big decision until, I think, the bye week. Especially the bye week. I think that's going to be the biggest hurdle for Eli if he's going to stay starting. If he gets past the bye week, he might finish out the season. But that all matters where we're at. If we're in this, you know, in this season, then let's get in this season. If, if you know, you're going to pack it in, pack it in. But I want to see what kind of team, uh, you know, what team is going to rally. Are they going to rally around Pat Shermer? Are they going to rally about Eli? It sounds like all these players are saying the right things about they still believe in Eli. Not that on this team. So, well, it's, I hope he uh, believes in himself. Because I'm not seeing it. But, hey, that's my five-point preview, guys. Hey, let me know what you think. What are you looking for in this game? Have you packed it in? Or are you guys still hoping that we can turn this around? 
I'm still hoping we can turn this around, but that's me because I'm trying to stay positive and stay in this season. Or I'm just going to go on to it, you know, move on to a different season. You know what, guys? I can't wait. It's Monday, it's gonna be Monday night, prime time. I love when the Giants are in prime time because I bleed big blue always. <laughs>